channel we back again with the second video of the day oh my gosh we working today so we finished cleaning up okay we're finished cleaning up everything let me show you is in its respective spot okay i changed my sheets all right <laughs> all right alani i still gotta change my little cover for my nightstand but i'll do that later and um i'm about to start cooking guys so we're going to be making some meatloaf but yeah the closet looks great and um everything looks good so now we're gonna go in the kitchen and i need to find my oh here it goes we making some meatloaf Ooh, way. some meatloaf some cabbage some mashed potatoes and of course y'all know i need rice because i love rice and i make some gravy but we need an onion some pepper some garlic alani Hey, Lonnie. Your tummy hurt? Yes. So, Mom, what you looking for in the refrigerator? You hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. I haven't ate anything. We've been cleaning up. I haven't ate anything and I got a little headache. Oh, yeah, I got a little headache too. I'm hungry. So, we're going to get started. What I'm going to do is wash my hands, okay? Because you know that coronavirus is out there. Well, it ain't in here, but <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands. nothing like sunday cleaning up on a sunday cooking some good old sunday dinner and then chilling in your house while it's clean <laughs> eating good it's lit so let's go ahead and cut up our ingredients and get this process started what would y'all say if i was to tell you i'm thinking about i, I rinse these off i'm thinking about um getting some breast implants y'all so guys breastfeeding terribly like messed up my boobs like oh my gosh but i really want to sit down i was talking to my friend who has breast implants and she um she only paid like around six grand for hers and she was able to go on a payment plan but guys i mean i always had small breasts you know what i'm saying like i've always had small breasts i've never been larger than a b cup but like after breastfeeding for two years, Alani literally just ruined my freaking breasts. Like it's ridiculous. Like they were always little, but now they is like bionically not even there. <laughs> and guys, I'm so self-conscious about it. Like I really hate them. Like when I get undressed, I freaking hate looking at them. And I know, you know, breastfeeding is one of the nicest things, the most beautiful things that you could do as a mom, you know. Our bodies are machines like we can literally create kids and feed them all in one body but it's just like wow like I can't believe my breast is like this so I would love to take you guys on a journey with me to getting my breast implants because I'm gonna get me some I'm not joking <laughs> I'm not gonna get no huge boobies but I'm finna at least give me some big B's little C's you feel me like I'm not even I'm not even I'm not even lying because I really cannot I can't believe that but then again like I want to have another child maybe one day so you know I do want to breastfeed my next child but I don't know if you can still breastfeed after you um have implants I hope you can but you know what guys like I really gotta I really gotta um get some boobies because <laughs> this is not cute sis it's not cute in my opinion now I see girls like me with little boobs you know what I'm saying and they don't seem to mind. Um, you know, Deara from Deara and Ken, she's got little rack. And I know I have some friends that have a little rack just like me. But it's just like, I don't know. It just makes me feel very self-conscious. Like, certain things that I want to wear, I can't even wear because my freaking boobs don't fill it out. Like, come on. It's so annoying. So, I'm really going to um, find me a doctor up in Atlanta or maybe even in Charlotte here where I live and get me some boobs because sis i don't even care about the buns honestly because i got a little something in the back a little something not a lot but a little something but you know what i'm saying like i really want me some boots <laughs> so comment down below if you think i should give me some implants or if you think i should just be happy with what god get, has given me after breastfeeding what you think what all my virtual aunties think do y'all think it would be bad for me to go and get some implants like the only thing is i'm scared of going under the knife but i mean i'll do it you know as long as you know 
we do all the research and the doctor lets me know all the risk and different things whatever i need to do to prepare i'll make sure i do that but i would definitely like to get some boots and if they're not really that expensive like i'm with that i'm totally with it but yeah guys so i'm just cutting up some onion here and onion and pepper and i'm gonna um put this in my meatloaf um and i always put onions and peppers in my meatloaf and garlic and my mom just told me to add some ketchup um so i'm gonna add ketchup i usually never add ketchup when i mix it up but i'll add ketchup just to um see how it tastes with that my mom says she always add ketchup when she do meatloaf so i will add some and let me get a bowl so we could start mixing. Matter of fact, let me just get the um pan that I'm gonna cook it in, the glass pan. So let me rinse this off. So yeah. Let's do this. But yeah, guys, so tomorrow I'm gonna be, I mean, I've been working this whole week, you know, but um, tomorrow I actually start getting into my position. Um, so my schedule is uh, 9, 9 to 5.30. So my old job, I actually worked 8 to 5, so it was actually a little better. Um, you know, I could sleep in a little longer, but you know, you guys know I'm not sleeping in. <laughs> I'm always up. I want to um, get a good workout in tomorrow morning because I haven't really worked out this week. And um, I'm trying to gain my weight back because if you watched our previous video, I was telling you that I lost my pounds that I was gaining. I was doing so good. And then I ended up losing my weight that I worked so hard to gain. So I don't even know how that happened. I feel like it could have been stress or just because I haven't been drinking my Insure like I usually do um every single day mixed with the products that i sell the to chewy so i gotta get back i should have told my mom to grab me some um insure yesterday but i think i still got some left down here but yeah i'm just adding my i was telling them that i'm gonna get breast implants yeah I know. <laughs> yeah i'm getting it i'm getting them yep i'm getting me a big a a, a medium b or a little c so prepare for it so guys i'm going to be adding our famous seasonings complete seasoning here complete complete seasoning all right then we're gonna add some sasson which is my favorite one of my favorite seasons mom what's your favorite seasoning sasson and complete Double. Yeah, sasson's my favorite and um a double too. And I actually really like lemon pepper seasoning. I don't know why. Yeah, I love that on my chicken. Yep. Um then I'm going to Yeah, we should make some lemon pepper wings this week. I'm gonna add some pepper. Lonnie say pepper. Pepper. <laughs> I'm gonna add some pepper here. And then I'm going to ask some slap your mama. Can I slap you, ma? No. Oh. Just wondering. She said, don't get crazy. Then I'm going to add some um, garlic pepper. I actually like this seasoning right here, too. It's pretty dope. I could tell we hungry, ma, because we just looking for snacks. <laughs> we are starving. Yeah, drink some water. We didn't really drink or ate nothing today because we was cleaning up. Um, and then I'm going to add, let's see, mom, pass me the ketchup, please. I'm going to add some garlic salt, a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we don't have any adobo, what? What? Some. Okay, my mama said to add ketchup. I never did this before, but I'm finna do it. It's very good. She said it's real good. So I added some ketchup. And let me see, what am I forgetting? Where is my lemon pepper? I put all the seasonings in. Oh. Yes, ma'am. That is going to hold us for a day or two. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to put some um, tropical sauce on. Thank God my mom taught me how to cook. I could survive, mama. 
some oregano and so guys boss baby is like not feeling good but like the fact that me and my mom are up and moving around is is just like she cannot sit down because she, we got to be sitting down in order for her to be sitting down so even though she doesn't feel well she's literally trying to push herself to just be running around here because she like okay well i don't feel good but y'all ain't sit down yet so i'm not either so that's the lemon pepper and i'm gonna add a little bit of parsley all right so now we finna grind this together so cold what's wrong babe yeah mommy you need to sit down you know feel good okay guys so i'm gonna finish going ahead and getting this grinded up and then i'm gonna come back to y'all in just one second so now i'm still just getting it all mashed together now i'm gonna make a little shape right here like a little loaf <laughs> and get that into the oven so like so um and i'm gonna go ahead and uh put some olive oil in this pan as well as just a little bit of butter um and then i'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up that cabbage and i'm gonna make the mashed potatoes last because mashed potatoes is so the mashed potatoes are so fast um but yeah let me put some olive oil over it a little bit of butter in there yes ma'am let me get the butter 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 is there any butter in here yes um actually guys i'm going to use some garlic herb butter which will be good um over it Let's see here oh i gotta get them clothes out and fold them up the dryer is letting me know it's done so yeah i'm gonna get that in there and i got the oven on 350 so i'm gonna go ahead and um let's see what can i sprinkle over you just to make sure you season right a little bit of pep <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and cover her up And then I'm going to put her into the oven. Okay guys, so now let's cut up some of this um, cabbage. And this is actually just a small cabbage, which I'm happy because usually they be all huge. And you know, um, once you start cooking the cabbage down, it ends up not really being a lot or sometimes it be too much. So I did rinse it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that up. Um, and then just start putting it into the pot. Um, and then I'm going to season it up uh -oh, and let that cook down. 
And I'm gonna start my rice in a second after this. So that can go in there. Guys, I don't know. I just, I'm a big rice person. I really love rice. I don't know why. Like, I require rice with every freaking meal. Um, but I know my mom and my sister get tired of it. Alani's just like me, so she loves noodles and rice just like mama. Just like her mama. <laughs> but I just be liking rice. And um, I'm going to take y'all with me to the store because I'm going to go grab some gravy for my rice because I really want me some gravy over my rice now. And um, some gravy over my meatloaf. You hear me? And I don't really feel like ma making it. Um, oh, I'm country now. I done been down south too long. I said, you hear me? <laughs> I'm from the Bronx. Let me get my accent right. Nah, but um, I'm going to go get me some gravy because I need me some gravy over my meatloaf and my rice and my cabbage. You know, I like my rice and cabbage. <laughs> okay. So all my aunties, y'all is invited over, okay? Let me tell y'all, I'm starting to have so much fun doing YouTube. Even though the other day me and my mom was blacking out on each other. <laughs> and I said it was a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But like doing YouTube is legit so fun for me. Because I just really love creating videos. And I just love, you know, the feedback that we get. And just the friends that we've made and stuff. Like YouTube is really cool. There is a lot of negativity on, on YouTube. Like me and my mom was talking about that earlier. Like all the reactors and stuff. And just the people that just get on here to make content based off other people's content you know there is a lot of negativity on here but it's okay because the positivity always outweighs the negativity you know and if there's just one family on here that can come and be positive like us then we're making a difference so i really like doing youtube guys okay so i got my cabbage cut up so let me throw this away huh what do you say, Mom? Oh. So let me just get a little bit of water. So when you're doing your cabbage, you really don't need a lot of water because cabbage makes water of its own. Let me turn the fire on. Turn it not too high. Cabbage makes water of its own. It makes its own juice when it cooks down. So you really just don't even... You just need enough to coat the bottom of the pan. You know what I'm saying? And it will begin to cook down and make its own juice so what i'm gonna do is i like my cabbage kind of spicy but i'm not gonna kill them today with the spice because sometimes my mom start eating my cabbage she start choking and coughing because i like it with pepper <laughs> but i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna do that today so i'm gonna just um and alani gotta eat it so i ain't gonna kill her with the pepper but y'all i like i like my, me and my sister like spice feel me Especially Nunu. She don't care about the spice. She like it. I like it too. But my mom starts coughing. I'd be like, girl, it's not even that bad. But she'd be like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ha, ha. So we're we going to look out for her day. And then, um, so I'm just putting my normal seasonings, pepper, add a little Cajun, slap your mom's on there. I'm going to slap my mom one day. A um, little bit of parsley. I'm just playing. A <laughs> um, little bit of oregano. Uh, let's see a little bit of garlic pepper here i low-key want to put some corn in this mug let me see do we got some corn up there is there any more in there no did i use that let me add a little bit more sasson and guys with with cabbage like i usually let it cook down and taste it just to see kind of like what else i need to add to it because sometimes you be needing to add a little bit more seasoning but yeah, I'm just gonna let that cook. Put a top on that. Where is the top? Um, is it down here? Yes. So we'll put a top on this after I stir it up. And like I said, we're gonna add more seasoning as it begins to cook down but right now that's just to get it going and let's put a top on it and then i'm going to start on my rice and i'll make the um the gravy i mean the potatoes last so let me turn that down so let me do the rice so i just do two cups of water for my rice and then I always add, where's my famous chicken pollo? 
my bouillon um chicken flavor my bouillon chicken flavor to my rice because like who really just eats white rice plain but i mean if you do i'm not trying to say nothing because that's how you like it but i like to put have my white rice be you know a little bit flavored so i always add chicken bouillon to the water and just a little bit of butter so let me grab some butter and well, I'll just use the last of this because it's almost done. This is almost finished, so we'll just use the last of this. And let that heat up. And let me go get my cup of um, my cup of rice prepared over her. So yeah, whenever that starts to boil down, I'm gonna have my cup of rice ready to go. And so then I'm gonna bring y'all with me to the store so that we can go and get us a thing of gravy and hurry on back. So we'll put that on low. Let that cook. Let both of these be on low. Okay, guys, so I'm about to run to the um, Dollar General, which is like right across the street from my house, so that I could just grab some um, gravy because y'all know I need rice on my gravy. Uh, rice on my gravy. Gravy on my rice. So, I'm gonna run to the stove real fast. Get us some gravy. And then come back and check on the food. And it should be nearing. Well, it's probably not gonna be done, but it should be. It should be close to getting done. So that's the good thing about um about Dollar General being close by. So Walmart is not really that close. Food Lion. Well, Walmart is probably like seven to eight minutes away. Dollar General is like one minute away. And um, y'all gonna see how fast we get there right now. It's literally across the light. And um, Food Lion is probably like also seven to eight minutes away. So um, that's the great thing about it. If you forget something while you're cooking. And I'm going to hop in the shower before that food gets done. Because when it's done, I just want to eat. Like I have this thing about not being able to eat until I take a shower. I don't know why. Like I like to be able to sit down and get down feel me like i want to get down i don't want to have to eat and then take a shower no like i want to already be clean <laughs> and be able to turn on my good show or edit or do whatever i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go ahead and take um a shower or whatever so guys i'm gonna make a video about how to refresh your braids i'm put it on my channel because my braids are actually holding up really well but like the front is like the most hit part. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a video. Hold on. I know Dollar General don't have a nerd to be closed. I might have to go to the little Spanish store over here, which is right, right there. And then La Palma is the Spanish store, which has like, you know, Latin, Latin type of groceries and stuff. But we're going to go ahead and turn into this now. And hopefully Dollar General is open. Um. Let's see. So I asked my baby, did she want to come with me to the store? She said, no, mommy. I don't want to go with you to the store. But hopefully she didn't start crying once I walked out the door because every time she says she doesn't want to go, she always really wants to go. <laughs> but, um, okay, so Dollar General is open. So we need to find some gravy really quickly here let's see okay yeah gravy, gravy, gravy. so we're gonna do so they got the they got the pork gravy brown gravy we're gonna get some roasted turkey gravy because after all we're making turkey meatloaf anyway see we're gonna get some of this
back from my two minute run to the store and let's go into the house and um, see what this food is doing. So let me wash my hands, of course. So y'all, my rice actually cooked down really fast and I had it on the lowest of the low, but it's ready. And let's go ahead and check on these, um, check on these, um, what these thing is? Cabbages. They look really good. Smelling really good too. But mommy hold you. I got you, baby. So I'm gonna start heating up my um my gravy soon too. And let me try this cabbage and see what it tastes like. You hungry, Lonnie? Mm -hmm. Mama's hungry too. Me and you gonna take a bath together, girl. Wanna take a bath with mommy? Mm -hmm. So yeah, my rice is ready. Turn that off. Let me try my cabbage. Let me try, hold on, sit right there, my mom. Let me try my cabbage. See what that's tasting like. One. Uh-uh, girl. Why don't you get wet? Okay, so that can use. So we're gonna add a little bit more sesame to that. Honestly. So. I need some more sesame, a little more garlic, pepper. Um, let's see, and I'll put a little bit more complete in there. You want to do it? Good job, blonde. Cooking, girl. Cooking with mommy. High five. Good job. Right, and I got us some gravy. So yeah, we're gonna keep letting that cook down because it's still like it's not too soft yet, but it's getting there. That's just right. Um, and let me check my meatloaf. I need I need to taste it again because it's good. <laughs> okay, keep that on one. And then let's taste our meatloaf. See what that's looking like. Hold up. Okay. Uh -oh. Let me see. Yummy. Hold on, let me show you guys. Really yummy. Got that garlic butter on there. I'm gonna let it cook down some more. Then I'm gonna take the foil off and just let it get like a little crisp to it, crispness to it. But it's looking really good. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, get the water the water boiling for my potatoes. So let's see, it calls for. Actually, let me make this smaller hat because we don't need this big old. Hat. So we're gonna do. Let's see. Um. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna do the um, sour cream and chives smashed potatoes. So this calls for two cups of water. And let's see, that's a little more than two cups. Right there. And then I'm gonna put some um butter, butter, butter. Let that boil. Add the taters. Finna go take me a shower. And the food should be ready by the time I come out the shower. And I need to get my um, gravy. Um, let's see. I guess I could low-key um, heat this up in the microwave real fast. 
but yeah i'm gonna just let that you gotta let this boil and then you know you add the potatoes to that so we will wait for that to boil so my water's boiling so i'm gonna go ahead and add my um potatoes And this is actually the nonstick pan, so you're not even, I'm not even supposed to be using this fork, but, because my mom gonna kill me, but this pot is the one I already messed up. <laughs> so that's the only reason why I'm using this fork in here. Because I already messed up this pot. So it's already got scratches on it. But you know, you're supposed to use like these type of um, spoons when you're doing, let me get some butter. And it says to, you know, moisten with a fork. But I had to make my sister, my lovely, lovely sister, my favorite baby sister, my only baby sister that I will beat you up for. Only I could yell at her. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <laughs> I had to make my baby some potatoes because she loved potatoes. My sister loved potatoes. She'd be like, can I have potatoes? I'd be like, girl, we just have potatoes. So her taters is ready. Mama's rice is ready. Okay. Let's put a top on it. Or a plate. You feel me? <laughs> and let me go ahead and check on my meat. Finna go take me a shower. Get myself together. I'ma need about an hour. Yeah. We're gonna turn broil on. We're gonna turn the broil on. Look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. Ooh. So, yeah, we're going to turn the broil on so it can get a little bit of um crispness to it. Okay, 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 okay. And actually, I'm going to throw a couple of Italian breadcrumbs on that. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going to let that broil. And I'm going to go take me a shower. And then we gon' eat. Yes, all. We. I'm gonna go to the studio and record us a family dream song, and I'm gonna. We're gonna shoot us a new intro. So I need y'all to help me with the lyrics. All right. Put this in a microwave. I'm gonna go take a shower. All right, guys. So it is ready. I'm about to go ahead and make our plates. My gravy is getting ready in the microwave. And I am so excited to eat. <laughs> Back up, mama. So I got my pajamas on. Check out my matching pajamas. I'm looking cute, okay? And me and Lonnie's about to eat together. Yummy, yummy, yumma. Yumma, yumma, yumma. <laughs> so guys, make sure you comment down below, okay? Hit the thumbs up on this video. Yes. And also, um, let me know what you want me to cook because I'll be chefing it up. Okay. So we will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna do a dessert video, but I gotta sit down and eat first. Like I gotta I gotta sit down and eat and I gotta clean up my kitchen. But guys, we will see you guys in the next 